I think we're good. I think we're straight. Hey, Simon, you want to come in so we can do this, uh, this episode? It's Christmas time! Well, there was... Yeah, yes. In the city! We're at Sunspot. What? Look at yeah, buddy. It's Christmas. It is Christmas time. Yes, this isn't for you. It's, it's Boxing Day. It's uh, day after Christmas. It's Boxing Day. Celebrating, getting ready to go to a, uh, not wrestling day. No, but, no, no. Uh, boxing Day. Boxing Day. You know, I always thought Boxing Day was everyone walks around and just jabs each other in the that's, face. That's not what it's about? No, I, I, I know that's not what it is. I don't know what it is. But it's not going around punching people in the face. Let me tell you, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did a, a little bit of research when I about Boxing Day. Boxing Day is a uh, thing that's in uh, in the UK. British. It's very British. And uh, Put another shrimp on the bobby. No, 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 no. Ah, something else. Okay. And uh, Canada celebrates it. Canadian. And then uh, in 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 Europe, it's celebrated. Uh, they where they give handouts to the homeless. In, with boxes, and uh, I, I see that uh, you have a box here. <laughs> Dude, right over there. This is my stuff, though. Sorry about that. I just picked it up on the way. Don't want to make a mess. <laughs> just slide that over there. So uh, I guess we'll. Do 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 do. What? You're gonna? I didn't even get that part yet. So we're gonna uh -huh. we're gonna start the episode, right? And welcome to the Milo Beasley Show. Do 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 do. Dude, episode number 131, the last right. episode of 2016. This year literally flew by. It did. Like, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it uh, it went by super fast. Well, and this year has been like the celebrity purge. God, they're going to ignore this year from the record books. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I think as, as we continue to get older, obviously the people who we idolized, you know, um, are gonna pass more and more so i think it's it's gonna be uh heavy very I'm not ready for the next couple of years it's just gonna be everyone who we idolized uh just as long as elvis doesn't die i think we're good um yeah elvis costello right so uh let's talk about 2016 uh has some pretty cool episodes our episode number 100 with uh father james mitchell 100 year anniversary dude we had the devil himself yeah uh cindy mini that's what i call him remember the uh the episode that we did at fanboy expo with the puppet and then i wish we would have had this stuff on camera where uh Milo beat a guy up no i Milo beat a guy up i was there i saw it so real quick sub zero milo, <laughs> milo is setting up to do the milo beasley show to do 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 and uh, we had a puppet for a guest so i was crazy crazy excited and this sub zero guy walks up to try to show his ass standing up like this and milo gets up and the guy thinks milo's playing and then milo beat him up <laughs> A group of puppets mm -hmm. have decided mm -hmm. to take some wrestling, mm -hmm. indie wrestling, and we basically commentate over it. Oh. It's a lot of fun. We make wrestling fun again. Yeah. Ravenous. Oh yeah, those are the people that will walk up and go, I know everybody tells you, everybody says that shit ain't real, but you know, I, I, I know you don't. I know it's real. Yeah, it, that's wrong. I don't care what they say. <laughs> no. I don't care what they say. I know that. I know that shit. Yeah, I seen the welts on your. This is leprechaun. Cause it's not Jason Voorhees. But he kills people. The leprechaun kills people. Oh my god, I can't. Does this way you want me to come back? Scoot over. <laughs> Well, that was nice and terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so uh, why, why, why is it? Why is it that whenever you and Dark City Fight Club and me were all on the Milo Beasley show, the tides turn against your beloved co-host? It happened at the Wrestle Brawl episode by the dumpster. It happened when you and John did the movie review episode, and you guys crapped all over Hocus Pocus. That, that, that wasn't me. It was the, the it guy looked just like you. It wasn't me. The guy at the Milo Beasley show Halloween episode wasn't you. That guy looked just like you, but he had those glasses. Yeah, those glasses. Uh, Simon, 2016 has also been the year where uh, folks have tried to take over the co-hosting duties. Uh, Jason Cade, Amber Gartner, uh, you know, what do you... I do not appreciate you people trying to come between Milo and I, my heterosexual life partner. I was there for episode number one. I was there for the 50 year anniversary. Yes. 50, I was yeah. there for the 100 year anniversary with the Cine Mini. I've been there for some of the biggest highlights of the Milo Beasley show. <laughs> uh, such as? Such, uh, such as moments too big to be named. Um, but let's show you some, <laughs> of, some other episodes uh, of Jason Cade and Amber Gertner and others trying to co-host. You gonna show them moving on in my territory? Uh, you know, we're gonna battle it out. 
<laughs> kind of hijacking your show. I'm sorry. I haven't been on the show in a long time. Go ahead, host. Uh, the supermodel, she used to be known as hot ass Amy Love. Well, she still uh, yeah, is. That's yeah. how she's a super freaking model. But that's not what they call her anymore. I call her that. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve where what? I am. <laughs> is this a Milo Beasley show without Jason Cade? Apparently not. Simon, cheer up. Uh, it's Boxing Day and, uh, you know, uh, it's a day two. It's it's almost called Christmas 2. And, uh, Christmas to return. Christmas 2. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, so Just I, when you thought. You, you invited me over to come um, exchange uh, some presents. Yes. yes. It's yes. Boxing Day yes. presents. So uh, you, you said, hey, uh, Milo, what do you want? And I said, you know. Uh, Your list was kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. I love you to death. And Lord knows I'm a weirdo too. But uh, it was smudgy. You wrote it on that napkin that you wiped your face on, mm -hmm. so I did my best to decode it. I am a trivia host after all. Yep. I read handwriting that looks like hieroglyphics all the time. All right, so let's see if you got uh, gift number one. I'm gonna close my... It's kind of weird. Yeah. No, I didn't, you know, know. I, I didn't everybody, understand. Everybody needs it. I didn't understand, okay. especially without a bathtub, but you asked for a couple of ducks and here they are. No, I, look at that face! Look at that face! Can you zoom in? It's on a tripod, so you're not gonna zoom in, but look at this guy. I, I asked for a Happy Boxing Day! It's Happy Boxing Day! I asked for a It's not just every day. A couple of bucks. A couple of bucks. Dollars. A couple of bucks. And I got a couple of ducks. That makes sense now. Tell me. Where's that paper? Um, Are you sure that said bucks? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it makes yeah. sense now. Okay. Um. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. This should make up for it. You can't misinterpret this. Oh, oh you got me some fucking <laughs> donuts. You got me some <laughs> oh, there's nothing in there. Well, the box is empty. But you collect boxes. This one's nice and pretty. It's got all the bright colors. You're not gonna lose it. Actually, no, it can I, be the uh, centerpiece of your collection. Uh, live in the boxes. Don't collect them. Um, Living in them is like collecting. Don't deconstruct. It's gonna be worthless. I need, then I need to. Um, I really thought you were gonna like here's, that. Here's some more highlights from 2016. things. I actually purchased the Munster Coach and Dragula replica cars, tribute cars, last year. So I do a lot of car related uh, business. That is awesome. Say hi. There is a ton of there is a ton yeah. of people over here that are you know like a lot of cosplay. Do you like watching the people like cosplay and dress up and yeah. stuff like that? Yeah, I just uh, I, for the first time I just saw a John Smith. So. Oh, you just saw a John yeah. Smith. I don't think I've ever. I wanted to be an artist. I didn't. I wasn't sure what it was in art that I wanted to. I started out in comic books. It wasn't my thing. I was a little slow. The pay wasn't great. And then uh, I went into commercial arts. That's what the family business was. It's an honest mistake. People, your handwriting is really weird, dude. The, the, what, what is that old saying? It's the thought that counts. Okay. I, I did get you something. I put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> uh, recycled some. Oh, buddy. Listen. Cans. I just, and listen, stuff. look at me. Before you give me whatever it is, no matter what it is, I'm going to appreciate it. No matter how it's small, even if you whittled it out of some beech wood, I'm going to love it, buddy. I, uh,. Huh. I'm gonna love it. Oh, there it is. There. Yep. Hold on. Simon. It's a nice can. Yep. Yep. Ooh, this is heavy. Yep. <laughs> Hole. Yep. <sighs> Awkward. You got this? Yeah. You got this? Yep. For me? Yep. How the... How in the hell did you afford this? Bears. Holy cow! Bearsley merchandise. Bearsley merchandise. Right. You have got to be right, freaking here's, kidding me. Here's, here's some more stuff from 2016 while Simon looks at it. What? Train in the Canada. I, the Canada. The Canada. The Canada is where I train. And so, <laughs> yes, I train in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, with Lance Storm. Do you have to pause when you say that? It's so funny because I just <laughs> do it naturally. Like, that's just how my brain says it, right? <laughs>
As I just mentioned, my first ever paid gig, I drew pornographic Christmas cards. Not comics. A lot of jokes about people coming down chimneys, mostly. Is that what they do in Canada? No, they do that every mm -hmm. uh, But you're here in Florida. You're not from Florida. No, I'm not. I'm from what? Sydney, Australia. That's a, that's a long way away. How here, let me give you a couple bucks, dude. Please, I'm so sorry. You, you know, hey, it's a. Uh, let me. I have to do it. I can't. Like, no, no, no. Just, it's, it's. Hey, you know what? No, no just sit down. Your crotch, buddy, I your, feel your, horrible. Your crotch is in the camera. I feel so. I feel uh, just something, please. No, it's it's gonna sit down. Sit down. We're, we're talking about 2017 and how awesome it's gonna be. You got Man, something this great. This is actually awesome. Yeah, yeah. Your stuff is good too, though. Your stuff is amazing. That's good stuff. You know, there's a tradition uh, of a, a white elephant. Uh, Christmas gift exchange where nope. uh, you put no, stuff no. down. <laughs> I don't know that. And uh, and you trade and you you put stuff in the middle. Listen, you, I could not in good conscience tear you away from the couple of ducks you asked for in your box collection. I can't. Look at and I got you more stuff. I only have one thing. I only have one. Just, just leave it the way it is. I'm from Colombia. We don't have white elephants. We don't even have elephants in Colombia. Is this your favorite? Yes. You know what? Some folks have said, this is a segue. Some folks have said, <laughs> you got me a segue? <laughs> oh my God. Some folks have said the My their episode of the Milo Beasley show is their favorite number, is their lucky number. Watch. That's a segue. That's, that's amazing. That was a damn <laughs> good segue. <laughs> Dude, episode number 127. That's my lucky number. Is it? Now it is. Now <laughs> <laughs> Episode number 111. 111? Yeah. That's my good luck number. Is it? It really is. That's You're so crazy. That. You're just saying that. No, 111. 111. It's my Beasley show. Do -do 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 -do. Episode number 121. You're a palindrome. Uh, it feels good to be a palindrome. <laughs> my God. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, this is the, my favorite thing I got this year. Um, Do you mean that? A lot of time was spent. Yeah, I mean, Listen. when things are your only thing, it's your favorite thing. This is the only thing I got from you, so it's my favorite. <laughs> yes. Listen, a lot of time, a lot of time was spent trying to figure out what the hell that napkin said. <laughs> and Understandable. I did it. Yeah. You know, and I would have got you a Christmas card. But I didn't. But I didn't. I would have signed I, it too. But speaking of signed, you that's see what I just did there. Segway. So I just got my little segue. Um, yeah, we've actually had some uh, pretty cool interviews this year in 2016, and those folks in 2017 uh, have signed a WWE contract. You will be seeing them potentially on your TV screen at home, man. People that are good friends of the show, good friends personally of Milo and myself. Man, it's, I can't believe it. Yeah, so uh, here's a couple of our friends who have been uh, lucky enough to be signed to the WWE. But first, appearing on the Milo Beasley Show. Episode number 110, it's a brand new old episode. Ooh. Ooh. New episode. New old episode. Oh, me! <laughs> well, I uh, thank you. <laughs> Raise your name, love. <laughs> did you, speaking of being popular, did you see any increase in popularity with the whole Pokemon Go thing and everybody wanting to catch Eevee and stuff ah, like that? Ah, yeah. Oh my god, actually. <laughs> did, how, many, how many? Um. I love you. Thank oh, you. thank you. I'm uh, always talking to you. Uh, I'm sorry, I got... I uh, the, he's got you've got a good I, man bun. Yeah, I got the good, good man, man bun going. Bun. I thought that was um, complimenting me. So BB-8, Darth Vader. I wonder if you can hear this. We'll find out when I edit it, I suppose. <laughs> You're gonna give a lot of comments on that. Wow, Andrea, you got a big mouth. <laughs> you can see what I can do with it. Never mind. Okay. That's, uh, that looks... You're, you seem pretty happy. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> I'm blown so, away by how you afforded this, but man. Oh, well, you know, Bearsley merchandise. You. Use it every time. You good, you. <laughs> you better get him anything. Yeah, you didn't get him anything. I'll get him something for Three Kings Day. <laughs> January 6th, Three Kings Day. That's going to be That's your like day. That's like next week. Yeah, I know. Yep. It's coming. It's coming. Yep. Uh, so, uh, as opposed to Three Kings, there's a tradition we do on the Milo Beasley show called the Top Five.
time. God, we are full of segues. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> we are like the perfect segue writers. Folks, often. Se segue writers? Yeah. It's like, it's like, no, 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 no. Segue writers. Okay, got it. All right. So. Ah, no, no. I, I meant writers, but that's, a, that's, a, that's an awesome one, too. Man, we are on fire. <laughs> on, on a roll? <laughs> Segways. Settle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Bum? <laughs> right. Okay. We need to do that with all puns. We'll call it the Punishers. Often imitated, never replicated. Simon. <laughs> uh, I love this. So do much. you have a top five for me? I do. For the Milo Beasley Show top five. Okay. We always have all these guests, all these people that infringe on our show, get in between you and I's conversations. <laughs> so I barely get to ask Milo the top five, Simon's top five, but I got a good one. A lot okay. of thought went into all this. All right, all right. Just as a lot of thought went into your presents that I got you, your box collection mm -hmm. and your couple of ducks. Yep. Top five things that you like to wrap presents with. Uh, Lord knows you can't afford fancy, fancy wrapping paper like this. Yep. Actually, hold on a second. I have the wrapping paper right here. Why did I not wrap your presents? Ah, let's ignore that. Okay. Awkward. So. Top five things to wrap presents in, Milo. Uh, a newspaper. <laughs> that was the I top mean, one. It's, it's uh, uh, brown paper bags. Ooh, wait, wait, no, hold on. Just like from the, like the grocery store. Like, no, no, you, no, you physically cut tear, no, no, not cutting. No, oh. You tear them and then you wrap it up. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, put them in the hard work. Uh, condoms. Wrap it up. <laughs> There's something so unsettling to me to hear you talk about anything that has to do with sex. <laughs> If I never, I don't want, uh, all right, so wrap it up. That was good. Uh, that, that was good. Uh, the Punisher. Uh, <laughs> Milo um, Beasley, Simon, you have been punished. Here on Christmas, the return. Uh, soiled shirts that you find in the alleyways. I have a feeling I'm going to throw up in my mouth for the next one, but you have one more. Uh, to recap, newspaper, brown paper bags. Contraceptives, <laughs> soiled clothing, and the number one answer. Wait, did you technically give your number one answer for the first answer? No, it's it's okay. It's no, no particular no. order, no ranking. And then the last one is me, because I like to give the gift of hugs. I'm good. I'm all right. Okay, all right, we're doing it. Well, this has been episode 131 of the Milo Beasley Show Boxing Day Christmas: The Return. On behalf of my lows and my favorite present of all time, look! How many people can say their favorite homeless person got them a freaking Batman Riddler track? I'm pretty sure. And then you, show up your gifts. Show them. I got the ducks. And look, they got a home, apparently. They have a home. They, they have a home. Dude, oh, please no, let me give you money. No, please, no, 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 please let me give you some money. I have to. Simon, where can folks find you on social medias? <sighs> well, at the Twitter, at the Instagram, Emerald underscore Emperor. You can also find me EarthTrivia.com or Facebook.com slash Simon Time Trivia for all the Simon Time Trivia needs. This year, Earth Trivia, the umbrella company I work for, was voted Best Trivia Night in Orlando by the readers of the Orlando Weekly. Wow, uh, Milo Beasley Show won some awards too this year. Uh, best podcast, even though we're not a podcast. Uh, Doesn't matter. We're still that we want a spacey. Yeah, we did win a spacey. Yeah, we want a spacey. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, and of course, you can find me on all the socials at the Wrestling Bum, the Wrestling Bum. Uh, give us that thumbs up on the Facebook, on the Milo Beasley Show, themilobeasleyshow.com. And, and Milo, for an undisclosed competition, won best prank of the year. I'm a, I'm a God. Some folks say I, I like to do the ribs. You do. And that I'm a big troll. And you know who doesn't like Nobody's to do the ribs? That, but you know what who's? Abdullah the Butcher. I know. He doesn't. Son of a bitch. That yeah, restaurant went out of business. Troll, right? yeah, I, like, I've never trolled anybody in my life. I don't know why people... There's a reason why when Milo comes to stay the <laughs> night at Club says he is not allowed to go on the computer. Because the way that he trolls people on Facebook is off the charts. 
off the charts. <laughs> the fact that he doesn't have more death threats against him, Milo is the ultimate instigator, and it is hilarious. It's that is the gift never, that keeps on giving. Never. Uh, so thank you for watching episode number 131, the last episode of 2016. Ready for a great episode of 2017, the very first one with uh, special guest Beta Scott, and it just carries Ooh. on from there. Uh, thank you for watching everything in 2016. If you haven't, there's 52 episodes for you to watch, 51 more other than this one. So thanks for watching. YouTube! Uh, MilobeasyShow.com everywhere. They're at your disposal. Have a binge. Have a marathon. Yes, have a marathon. You're not. You're probably not working this week. I know a lot of people have off from work this week. Watch all the episodes. It's the Milo Beasley Show. Do -do 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 -do. You blocked Bearsley. Oh no. Do -do 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 -do. That was that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs>